Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hi, welcome in. February 9. Just believe. If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Mark 9, verse 23. Scripture reading, Mark 9, verses 17 to 29. Nothing has hurt me so much as seeing so-called believers have so much unbelief in them. Suppose that all the people in the world did not believe. That would make no difference to God's word. It would be the same. You cannot alter God's word. It is from everlasting to everlasting. Psalm 90 verse 2. I was preaching on faith one time and a man in the audience said three times, I won't believe. I kept right on preaching because that made no difference to me. I am prepared for a fight any day, the fight of faith. We must keep the faith that has been committed to us. I went on preaching and the man shouted out, I won't believe. As he left, he cried out again, I won't believe. Later, a message came saying that as soon as he got outside, the spirit said to him, you will be mute because you did not believe. It was the same spirit that came to Zacharias and said, you will be mute and not able to speak until the day these things take place because you did not believe my words. Luke 1 verse 20. I believe in a hell. Who is in hell? Unbelievers. Thank God they are there for they are no good for any society. I said to the leader of that meeting, you go and see this man and find out if these things are so. He went to the house and the first to greet him was the man's wife. He said, is it true that your husband declared three times in the meeting that we that he would not believe and now he cannot speak? She burst into tears and said, go and see. He went into the room and saw the man's mouth in a terrible state. The man got a piece of paper and wrote, I had an opportunity to believe. I refused to believe and now I cannot believe and cannot speak. The greatest sin in the world is to disbelieve God's word. We are not of those who draw back, but we are of those who believe. Hebrews 10 verse 39, for God's word is a living word and it always acts. Thought for today, if you want to go to hell, all you need to do is to disbelieve the word of God.